Long ago, in the vast and distant meridian ocean, there lay a mysterious black ship. Its destination was unknown, its voyage seemed endless. The passage of time had not altered its determined mind from protecting its passengers, nor had the thought of finding the supposed treasure been the reason why it started to sail. A sense of courage and purpose filled the air, and it carried the ship further and further away from civilization. Born clearly on the sides of the ship were letters that made up the word Odyssey. Aboard the Odyssey, there were five members, each with different and unique characters. They were good friends and had put up money to build the ship in return for an equal share of the treasure that they were searching for. They had a map that belonged to their ancestors and until today, no one has ever dared to cross the dangerous meridian ocean to find the supposed treasure. Will their fate be of any difference? Only time will tell. The crew vowed to stay together and their friendship was put to the test as they conquered many difficulties along the way to their destination. Pirate Wafi Tritony was a fine young pirate who loved animals so dearly that he decided to bring along his pet snake on board the ship. At a tender young age, Pirate Wafi had endless dreams of wanting to become a renowned pirate. Will this quest change everything? Next was pirate Azizu Atlasar, who loves danger and the ocean was his best mate. He defied his family's wishes of him becoming a carpenter, as his love for the wonders beyond the meridian ocean was extremely strong. He too brought along his companion, his little brother, Spongy Bobby, who never said a word. But his effortless smile supported his older brother in every way. His future depended on the success of this quest. Pirate Silic Kalistos is an exception among the five members. He was a fine doctor back at his hometown, but his passion to save and care for the sick disappeared as time went by. He yearned for adventure. Thus, giving up his old dream came a calling for him to become a pirate. His companion, Donkey Wonky, had always been by his side from the moment he was born. Donkey would never leave his master's side. Pirate Mandel Mirandel has dreams of becoming the richest man in the world. His thirst for money drove him on board the Odyssey. With his share of the treasure, he could build hundreds of homes for his villagers. Passion and determination carried him on. Like Pirate Wafi, he too had likings for animals, as he brought along his pet monkey. Will his dream come true at the end of this quest? And the last crew member on board the ship was Pirate Matthew Phobosy. He was the cheekiest of them all. His laughter and humour kept the crew going, and he never failed to put up a snickering smile. What was his story? No one knew, for he was never seen at the same place twice. There were rumours that said he was a widower and had no one to support him. Were they true? Let's ask him. Okay, never mind. What was the main reason he decided to join this gruelling adventure? Could be for the fun of it. Suddenly, the sky became darker and the sun faded beneath the grey clouds. The murky waters became choppy as the other sea walked up and down. The wind howled furiously and the crew became weary. They prepared for the oncoming storm. Danger was lurking, but the crew was ready. Pirate Wafi steered the wheel in all directions as the rain started to pour. The others held on to the ship and promised to stay together. The other sea started breaking apart. The wheel was thrown off the ship. The storm worsened and the ship rocked violently back and forth. The crew knew that they had no choice. They fell into the dark waters and held on to the most important possession they had, 
the treasure map. The hand slipped countless times as he tried to grip onto the map. The legs were giving way, and their vision was hazy due to the storm. Suddenly, the map tore into five pieces, and all of the pirates began to stray from each other. They tried to stay together. They shouted, they cried, they screamed. But all was lost as they disappeared further and further and further away from each other. And above them, the storm effortlessly drowned their voices to nothing more than silent whispers. Ah! The captain screamed, forced ashore into unknown land where survival was a hunger for many. Each one of them became hysterical. The minds turned blank and they became panic-stricken. They called for each other and even tried to swim back into the sea. Their hearts sank, for the air remained silent, and only the sounds of the waves moving onto the shore could be heard. This was so not happening. Lost and alone, the crew members knew they were on their own, and instinctively, they began to form their own pirate crew as the quest for the holy treasure continued. They searched high and low until they found civilization. Together, each of the original five crew members took on the role as pirate captains in their individual crew. Each crew was made up of very talented, distinct and strong individuals who all set up for a common goal, finding the legendary treasure. Each crew was determined to find it even though they had only a small piece of the torn map. Where were the other parts? And where were the other original crew members? With only a small part of the legendary treasure map each, all five pirate crews started out on their voyage towards a common goal, the legendary treasure. Each crew began to set sail into the deep blue ocean. They feared nothing, not even the unknown that lay ahead of them. Their faces showed only eagerness, the hunger to succeed. And of course, determination. Will they be able to find the legendary treasure? Maybe yes, maybe not. <laughs>